Hello everybody, this is Professor Lego, and what do I have today? Well, what I have today is a perpetual motion machine. Have you heard of perpetual motion machines? The ideas behind the perpetual motion machine is that it will keep moving continuously without any energy source. Okay, so there's a lot of YouTube videos out there of different kinds of perpetual motion machines. The majority of them probably use uh, magnets or some sort of um, movement just like this. Now, so what I wanted to do is I'm going to try it. I've never tried a perpetual motion machine before. They're, most of them are made out of wood and metal and everything else, but I'm Professor Lego. So what am I going to do? I'm going to build it out of Legos. So, I took my Technic kit. This is actually an old, old Technic kit. Um, one of the original Technic kit cars and I use this to build a perpetual motion machine. As you can see, um, the idea behind it is when the this lever weight kind of lowers this the my right side, then the top one will flop over and that flop over is supposed to continue the motion and let it keep going in that direction. Okay? Now I've seen this work on different uh, different wooden versions of this, uh, or at least this type of design. Even Michelangelo and Leonardo uh, had a version of perpetual motion design that he sketched up. But this this one right here, um, this is just a you know I've seen a lot of these kind of perpetual motion machines, but I call them like flap flap over perpetual motion machines. I haven't studied different perpetual motion machines, so I don't know the technical names, of course. Um, but as you can see, the idea is that the it just continually goes around and around. Now, I've also seen it go backwards. Uh, sometimes, depending on the configuration, the backwards configuration is uh, does better. In my case, a little bit, I don't know. It depends on the way you look at it. I think that looks better, honestly. So I think, take some of the glare away there. So I think it looks better when I do it that direction. So there you go. So there we have it. We have a perpetual motion machine. Now it doesn't exactly work. Of course not. It's a perpetual motion machine. Of course it doesn't work. It's not, there's no such thing as free energy. Most perpetual motion machines that you see on YouTube are there for clickbait. Same with this. It's there for your amusement more than it is for an actual energy source. I don't expect anybody to replicate this and then make energy out of it. Of course not. But it's fun to watch. It's fun to watch. There's something um, very, coo uh, very calming about this motion. As you can see, when you go flip-flop, 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 it's kind of calming, right? Or more, it's, um, you know, hypnotists use these kind of motions to, to allow you to calm that person down, right? So it's kind of fun in that regard. It was also fun to build. I recommend anybody out there to try to do this. If they think that they can make a better version of this, please let me know. Go on my social medias and post it and we'll try to put up a photo on one of our videos of, of different perpetual motion machines that you guys come up with. I just find it fun and I also find it to be intriguing of an idea. I think perpetual motion machines always spark my interest. I click on those YouTube videos just to see who's coming closest, right? I've seen a lot of them where it'll go around for maybe 13 rotations and never stop moving. That's, you know, that's due to friction losses and everything else. In this particular case, it's not really set up evenly. This circle pattern that I have for the, the, the legs isn't exactly circular, so it's not really, that's, that's the main problem with this perpetual motion machine is each one of these legs really has to be equidistant to each other, and they're not. Um, so, if you also, if you have a better suggestion as to a perpetual motion machine that we could, that I could build, or plans that I could build, 
let me know on my social medias or email us at um, stepnextlego at gmail.com and I'll be more than happy to receive your emails about different types of perpetual motion machines that you might have seen built out of Legos. Or if there's a perpetual motion machine that you see made of wood or metal but it's a different design than this flap, uh, you know, uh, slap version, let me know as well and I'll see if I can build it out of these Legos. Okay? Well, I appreciate your time and I thank you for watching. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. We we'll really appreciate it. And thanks everybody for watching. Bye-bye. Thank you again. This is Professor Lego. And if you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And if you want to see more of this type of video, subscribe here. Please follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And you can leave your builds, whatever you built, whether or not it was linked to a video of ours or not please leave an image on one of our social medias. For any community submitted photos, we'll put them on to the end of these type of videos. You might see your picture on the end of one of these videos. Here at Step Next, we want to get to a thousand subscribers and to reward all the beginner subscribers, the thousand subscriber mark, we're gonna offer up a large giveaway. And what are we gonna give away? Booyah, this is my favorite Lego kit of all time. This is the Lego X-Wing kit. And we're gonna have a giveaway where you can have a chance to win this X-Wing. So all you have to do is subscribe and tell your friends so they will subscribe as well. Once we hit a thousand, we will give this away. So please subscribe and we'll see you at a thousand.